Hey everyone. Oh my gosh, we are so missing you through all this stay at home stuff. My name is Lisa. If you don't know me, I'm a personal trainer here at the Country Club and um, I'm inviting my friend Whitney. Hey guys, and Whit, I'm also a personal trainer at the Country Club. Yes, and so we wanted to come on here because we know you guys are being kind of inundated with all the exercise videos, but to talk a little bit about nutrition while we're on quarantine. And that comes up a lot with a lot of our clients. We get a lot of um, questions about how to stay on track when I'm home and all of the things. But a couple things that we wanted to address, I have two and then I'll give it to Whitney and she'll talk about a couple that really have helped her. One is for me, I really think it's important because you know, now that we're on quarantine, we have to really be mindful about what we bring into the house. So if you have trigger foods that are really, you know, ones that you can't control yourself around, don't bring them into the house. And then the other thing too that I'm noticing that's really working well for me is one, I'm drinking half my body weight in ounces of water. And I talk to my clients all the time who say, I drink a ton of water, but at the end of the day, do you really know how much you drank unless you measure it? So this is a 32 ounce um, bottle and Whitney has one there as well. How much is yours with? Yeah, 32. This is what I yeah. got. <laughs> Was it the hot? <laughs> After you had your baby. Yeah. After you had little William. So it's really important that you, that you measure it. And I know it's a lot of water when you're not a normal water drinker, but you really have to treat it like, I'm just going to chug this and get it over with because yes, you'll be in the bathroom a bunch, but it's so good for your kidneys to flush out your kidney and your liver and all of the things that help you with your digestion. So water is a big deal. If you are a caffeine drinker, make sure that you're matching those ounces with water as well. So if you have an eight ounce cup of coffee in the morning, make sure you add that onto your total. And then the second thing is, is I really, really, really can't impress upon the sleep thing. So if you are sleep deprived, you have higher levels of cortisol in your system. And cortisol is the fight or flight hormone. And that does not allow us to stay in a normal weight range. And it keeps our levels of stress very, very high. But when you get appropriate amount of sleep, like eight hours, appropriate eight hours of sleep, that cortisol level drops. So really, really important that you make sure that you're getting correct sleep. And I know with our schedules now, you know, oh, well, I don't have to go to work or I don't have to get up to go to class or I don't have to get up to X, Y, Z. I can sleep whenever I want or I can sleep in the day or I can, or if you're like my son, you're like a vampire and you sleep all the day and stay up all night. But <laughs> that being said, it is so, so, so important that you stay on track with your sleep. Go to bed at the same time every night, get up at the same time. And I know for Wit with a brand new baby, that's really hard. So make sure that you're taking um, note of how much water you're drinking and really measure and also being mindful of your schedule. Stay on track with going to bed at a decent time and getting up at your normal time so that when we come out on the other side of this, you don't have to redo stuff you're already on track. And what, what do you have to share? Yeah, so I wanted to talk about a lot of my clients struggle with like what to eat, how much to eat. I think a lot of us are feeling like we might be overeating while we're home right now and that mindless like trip to the kitchen, open the fridge and stare at it looking for answers or the pantry. Um, so I really wanted to dial in like portion sizes as well as kind of making sure you're hitting the right food groups throughout the day because I've noticed when I don't hit the proper amount of veggies or fruits throughout the day even, then I start to get my sweet tooth, um, which is your body like misdirecting what you actually need. Your body has certain needs every single day that you need to hit. Otherwise, it's going to misfire, right? And tell you, oh yeah, you know that brownie looks amazing. That whole pint of ice cream looks so good, right? So I go over what I use with my clients are portion control containers. And funny story with these, um, we did Firestone for dinner last night and we did takeout and my father-in-law is trying to lose weight and he's like, wait, wait, what should I get? I said, well, go with the salad. They have a fabulous chicken on top. Um, so, so good. They throw in onions and bell peppers and pine nuts and feta and it's great salad dressing on the side. He's like, awesome. Go get that for me. So go grab it. 
I get one for myself as well and it comes, you can feel the weight of that sucker when you pick up that salad. It is hefty. I mean, easily, I would say five pounds. <laughs> and so I open it up and it's just flowing out of it. Right. And it's the, I, we open it up. It's one of those two to go containers. Chicken falls out, feta falls out, pine nuts fall. I mean, it's loaded salad. Gary's thinking he's being healthy. He ordered a salad. He ordered protein. You guys, he ate the entire thing. And mm -hmm. here's the point. <laughs> um, I measured mine out. I opened it up. I set two thirds of it aside and I ate one third. And here's why. When I measured that stinker out before COVID all happened, it was five green containers. This is where your veggies fit in. So it was five of these, which mind you, I get three to four of these a day per a whole day on my meal plan. And it was alone, one meal, one salad, five. It was also five red containers, which is your protein. It had a lot of feta as well as kind of pine nuts, which in the blue healthy fat world, let's take keto out of it. You know, you're just focusing on a healthy amount of fat and a well-rounded diet, not fat um, heavy. You get one of these a day. And this is cheese, this is nuts, this is almond butters, this is the healthy fats that you naturally think of, avocado, guacamole, one. And it was two to three of these. So yes, he was getting salad, but that salad was enough for three meals. That salad could have been his nutri nutrients, at least these containers, for the entire day's worth of what he needed, right? And then the dressing itself comes in one of the cute little, you know, to-go containers. It's probably this size, which is a half a cup. He dumped the entire thing over it. Dressings, you get two of these a day. This is what your dressing should fit in, and it's about two tablespoons, right? So all of that to say, you can be thinking, oh, I eat so healthy. I do a salad every day, right? But can you think about portions? And can you think about kind of equally dividing up those portions throughout your day? So if you've done the container system before, if you want tips on it, we can absolutely send you kind of all of our tips and tricks that we use these for and how many containers you're supposed to have based on your weight and your gender, whether you're wanting to lose weight, gain weight, maintain weight, at least and I are happy to send those to you. Um, so that was just something I wanted you to be aware of as you eat your breakfast, as you eat your lunch, as you eat your dinner and your snacks. Can you fit it into portion control containers or I'll give you the equivalence of it as well if you want to jot it down. This is your fruits, one cup, okay? You get about two to three of these a day on most of the meal plans. Veggies, also a cup. Um, women, three to four of these a day. Guys, more like five to six. Proteins, this is three-fourths a cup. About three to four of those a day. This is carbs, which is a half a cup. Two of those a day for us ladies. Fats, like I said, um, this is about a fourth of a cup. You get one of these a day. And then seeds and dressings, you get two of these a day. And one of them is two tablespoons. So just gives you an idea that you might be overeating. Even though you're eating healthy foods, it's still calories in, calories out. And you might be eating double the amount of calories that your body actually needs in, you know, while sitting at home and not doing a whole lot. Maybe you're not getting a lot of steps in or, um, you know, some of you are exercising more than you have ever have. And that's awesome. But still be aware of how much you're putting in versus how much you're burning. For sure. And the yellow then to add on to that, that yellow is a half a cup. And a lot of my clients are like, well, I really want to drink my wine. I really, I don't want to give that up. I don't want to go through a meal plan because I feel deprived. And so Whitney and I both talk about this with our clients. So, so the yellow is a half a cup. And if you decide that you're going to be drinking alcohol or you're drinking your wine in the afternoons or evenings, that's totally fine. You can absolutely do that, but then account for that during the day. So let's say I get three of those a day in my meal plan. Well, my uh, toast in the morning is one. And then at lunchtime, I have, let's say I have some sweet potato or I have some kind of a, a healthy starch. That's my other one. And then I have three glasses of wine at night. I'm way over. 
So if you're deciding that maybe that's something that you're going to be doing or you're going to a barbecue or a cookout or you're social distancing in, in your cul-de-sac or whatever, make sure that you account for that. It's not about deprivation. It's about just making sure you're on track. Yeah, absolutely. And I even tell my clients like drink. Absolutely. Do not cut out drinking because here's the thing, Lisa and I hate diets. We're about lifestyle change. And if realistically cutting out alcohol out of your life is not going to happen, that's fine. Like she said, account for it and maybe do alcohol three nights a week, right? Pick your nights um, where you know it's just like, oh, Friday, end of the work week. I know I'm going to be having a glass of wine. Account for that. And then maybe like a Sunday night barbecue with hubby in the backyard, get another little glass. So pick your nights. I tell people like you don't have to, you don't have to go cold turkey, um, but just, just, you know, be conscious of it. So Yeah. Yeah. So the last thing that we just want to share with you is, um, I know that a lot of us are kind of, you know, making excuses of what to bring into the house, but also maybe, oh, well, we're on quarantine right now, so I'm just going to eat this. So here's a challenge that I'd love to have with all of you, and you can check in with us later to let us know if you did it or not. Pick a behavior or a food that you know is just not good for you right now. And see if you can knock it out for, let's just say two weeks. We're not even going to say a month. Let's say two weeks, we'll knock it out. We'll knock it off. We're not going to do it. And what I want you to notice with that is how much better you feel when you don't do it and how much more empowered you feel that you're able to not do it. So those are just behavior things that we'd love to share with you. And, and we hope you guys are doing well and you're safe. Um, and we can't wait to see you soon. Yeah. Sounds great, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.